Hey everybody, it's Brooke. You can tell we've got a new setup here and I keep punching the camera, sorry. We're actually in my kitchen with this very snazzy vinyl tablecloth on my island because we're gonna dye some stuff. We're gonna dye some stuff. I don't even know where the camera is, so be patient. Um, what I've got would be some computer paper, just regular computer paper. I have some envelopes that I pulled out of the recycling. Oh, I hit the, sorry, I'm sort of wrapped around the tripod. Um, just some envelopes that I pulled out of the recycling, junk mail. And I also grabbed a couple doilies. You may not have doilies, but I needed some coffee dyed ones, so I figured we'd do that while we were here. This is an incredibly hot day here in Maine. It feels like it's 102 or something. So if you hear a thunk and I don't come back, I passed out from the heat. Nah, I'm not really gonna do that. All right, so let's just get to it. The first thing I'm going to do, I've got a disposable um, foil, like baking pan, 11 by, or 13 by nine baking pan. And I bought some cheap cookie sheets at the dollar store so that I don't have to worry about the coffee ruining my good stuff. All I have in this pan right now is warm water because you don't have to put any color on the paper. If you like the white paper, but you want it crinkly, like coffee dye, all you have to do is throw your paper in some water. So there's nothing else in there. And it is warm water. I find that um, when you're putting coffee in, obviously you need it to be warm water to dissolve the coffee, but you don't have to use warm for this. I just happen to have it that way. So all I'm doing is smushing the paper down, getting it wet, picking it up, dripping it, and throwing it on my cookie sheet. That is that. So I'll get that out of the way. Oops, sorry, I'm coming back. Hold on, drying my hands. So the next thing we're gonna do is some coffee. And what I have here is instant coffee. It's store brand, it's cheap. And I don't have a measurement. There's about an inch of warm water in this pan. And I'm gonna put in I like my papers kind of dark. So I'm gonna put in, I don't know, that much. What was that, a quarter of a cup maybe? And I forgot to get a spoon, hold on. I also have a beat up plastic spoon that I just use for coffee dyeing and whatnot. So I'm just stirring this up to get that coffee to dissolve a little bit. I'm also going to put on some gloves because I already told you about my darling nail tech Lily and the threats on my life. Let me tell you, putting on gloves today, these plastic gloves, um, seems like a real treat, but coffee will wreck your nails and it will stain your cuticles. Um, I also find that it dries my skin out. I don't know why, but my hands get really dry and itchy if I don't wear gloves. So we will just put these on. You can buy these, uh, I think, even at the pharmacy. If you don't have any, use your cleaning gloves, whatever you got, or don't wear gloves if it, if you don't if it doesn't bother you. <laughs> they don't even want to go on my hands; they're so sticky. All right, there we go. So again, it's exactly the same thing. This time, I think what I'm going to use though, these are also foil trays that I found on clearance at my grocery store. They're cookie sheets, but they're the foil kind. And they have this cool pattern. They're like little squares. So I bought those because I thought we would give it a shot to see if we got a pattern when this stuff dries. So I'm just submerging my paper. I don't leave it in there a whole long time. I don't like to deal with ripped paper. Um, so I will throw it in. And that's not quite as dark as I like it. So I'm gonna grab my coffee and throw some more in there. The other thing that you can do is um, just sprinkle some grounds directly on the paper. I don't know if you can see me doing that. Let me move that. And then when you're done, uh, after it dries, you can kind of brush it off, but that'll make some neat marks. And I'm really curious about how this, this pattern's gonna work out. So you can do that as well, if you'd like a little darker. So I'll give this a stir, get that coffee dissolved see what happens. And I'm just going to stack up some paper, one on top of each other. I think what I'll do is just throw this stack in. 
um, I have heard, I don't know if it's true, if you use cooler water, your paper tear, tends to not tear as much, but I have not tried that out, so I don't know if it's true. Try it out, see if it's true. Leave us a comment and tell us if it's something new to know. So that's all I'm gonna do, and we'll pick up a little bit of that coffee pattern from the page underneath. Got some bits of coffee floating, that is just fine. <laughs> These gloves make taking the paper apart a little bit of a challenge. It's like having Mickey Mouse gloves on. Hmm. Maybe they're not two sheets. No, I know they're two sheets there. Come on, paper. I guess I shouldn't have dumped the whole stack. There we go. See, impatience never serves you well. So I'm treating it kind of gently, but you don't have to, you know, it's not that fragile. And we'll stack that one up there. And we've got this last one. You could be dyeing anything you wanted to. Uh, magazine pages, I would imagine, would work. This page tore a little bit, and I don't care. Because you know that's my motto. This is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressy. So I try not to stress. Now I'm throwing in one of those junk mail envelopes. It was opened at the top. That's ripping off, so I'm just going to take that off. Throw that on top. And it is a nice sunny day outside, lots of warmth, so I'm just going to go put this on my back porch when we're done dying and check it once in a while, flip it over, do whatever. It'll dry pretty quickly today, I'm guessing. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Oh, I forgot we were going to do these doilies. Let's do our doilies. Let me grab another um, cookie sheet. Do these while we still have coffee in there. We're going to try a couple different things. These are El Cheapo doilies from the dollar store. So I don't leave them in there long at all. You'll get some rippage on these. So I'm just going to peel them apart. I learned my lesson from throwing that stack of copy paper in. There might, might be more than one doily here. Um, and that's okay with me because it'll keep it from being quite so fragile. I've been thinking about ordering some nicer doilies from like a catering company or something online uh, because these are a good price, but man, they're delicate. Nope, I think that's just one, so we'll throw that guy in there. Alrighty. Try and not have them folded over. I don't know if you guys can see this. I really have no idea where the camera is. I'm sorry. I'm just going to knock off some of that excess coffee. And had I more doilies, I could probably fit some more on there. Um, I would also layer some, but that's all I brought upstairs. So those are our doilies. I'm going to set those aside to go outside. Now I'm going to dump out the coffee, and we're going to try, just for fun, some acrylic ink. This is FW Pearlescent Liquid Acrylic. And I have never tried it with this, so I thought we'd give it a shot. So hold on, I'll be right back with clean water. Hey everybody, I'm back. So I dumped out the coffee. I hope I put the pan back in the right place. Um, but I dumped out the coffee and rinsed out the dish, and now I've just got cold water in there. And not quite as much this time, because I don't think I want to dilute the acrylics that much. So first, I think what I'm going to try is putting some drops of acrylic in there and see what it does. Wow, it's really shimmery. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but it looks pretty cool. And this is this beautiful pink color. I'll put that lid on because you know I will knock it over. Just grabbing one piece of computer paper over here. And I should probably grab a tray too, huh? So I'm going to smoosh that around. I'm going to throw that in there. And if you don't have acrylic inks or acrylic liquid ink, um, try what? Ooh, try watercolor. Try um, your bottles of acrylic paint. It's just copy paper, you know. You're not going to ruin anything by trying it. So I went over and grabbed my cookie sheet. Hopefully you can see it. And this looks nifty. The other side didn't get much. But that one side, let me see if I can hold it up. Can you see how neat that is? It's all marbly looking. 
this is again all the barbecue stuff is on clearance here now because you know they're bringing out firewood and Christmas ornaments and this leaves a really neat diamond pattern it's one of the things you put on your grill to cook vegetables or, or a shrimp or something but I like to dry things on there because it leaves a really nifty pattern so let's grab another piece of paper let's see if we can do that I'm smushing it right down to the bottom I'm actually touching the bottom with the paper to see if some of that ink will get picked up. Nope, not much on this one, so let's go direct to paper, as they say. Oops. Again, good idea to wear the gloves. Very precise science. I really hope you guys can see. I was just squirting randomly. Pick that up. Ooh. I like. Mama likey. Maybe dip it in the water so it runs a little more. Nifty. Well, I like how that looks. Can you guys see it? I'll come back when it's all dry uh, and show you what everything turned out like. Let's do one more piece of paper. Just put it in there and see what it picks up. Oh, it's got a little bit of the marbly stuff on that side. Usually things lighten up when they dry, so I'm going to say, let's give this another little shot. Actually, because this side has some marbling on it, I'm going to turn it over because this side is pretty, pretty empty. And we'll just go ahead and I'm putting less on this time. Just letting it do its thing. And I think I'll pick it up from the edge and just let it tip off and throw it on our cookie sheet. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Not as much on this one, but it's got some pretty spots. Maybe for fun, let's do this. I'm just getting my dropper out of the acrylic ink bottle. Holding it up pretty high. Gosh, I hope I'm in camera. Won't I feel silly if you got nothing? Oh, that looks kind of neat. Look what it's doing. It's spreading and being cool. Grab some water and drip it on there. Kind of move this stuff around. Wow, this is fun. I could do this all day. <laughs> Neat. I like that. All right, so we'll take that out to dry. Now I'm going to dump this water and we're going to try food coloring. My good friend Elizabeth at Never Hopeless by Elizabeth uh, told us about it and showed some results of her food coloring dyeing and it looked really neat but she wasn't set up to film in the kitchen so I've never done it so I thought we'd give it a shot while we're making this big old mess so hold on I'll be right back all right everybody I'm back oh and I punched the camera again sorry uh, this time I have food coloring I could only find blue because my friend the producer Victoria is quite fond of dyeing food colors so this is what I could find so I've just got, again, about an inch of lukewarm water because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted hot or cold. So I went in the middle, and I have no idea how much food coloring to put in. I don't know how blue we want the paper. I don't know. Let's start, start with that. I'm just going to stir it up. Wow, that's getting blue. This is um, gel food coloring, so it's kind of sticking on the bottom, but we'll get it up. We'll get it going. I wouldn't really mind a little bit hanging out. I'll press the paper down and maybe we'll get some spots. I like that. A little variation. Actually, let's um, put a couple in there just for that very reason. It's so funny. It's weird looking. It floats down straight down to the bottom like it was a, an amoeba or something. All right. I have another junk mail envelope. Let's do that one. Then let's go ahead and throw this other stuff in there. I have computer paper. I had to go get more. I didn't bring enough up. Put it in there. I guess this might test that theory about um, if it's less fragile in lukewarm water rather than hot. Now I think Elizabeth said she left her papers for a couple minutes, but we're going to go ahead and do the speed version here. All right. So those are all in there. 
lift this guy up because I did the same thing and put it in as a stack. And I think what I'll do is turn it over and start from the bottom. Oh, it's not very blue yet. Hmm. Well, that's not very blue. I guess we need more food coloring. Let's just throw it on the top and see what it does. So that was three pretty good squeezes. Ooh, let's see if we get some, some cool variations this way. Oh, I like that. Can you guys see that? That's kind of cool. So I'll put that on our, I've just got a plain old cookie sheet here. And again, I think it was two in a pack at the dollar store for obviously a dollar. Um, oh, and we lost part of that envelope again. Just throw that away. So that's, that was really much happier to me than using my good cookie sheets. <clears throat> it was a good investment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stack these guys up. There's some food coloring down at the bottom, so I just scoop that up a little bit. I tap the paper down in it. <laughs> it's hard to be gentle when you're wearing these gloves. But so far, so good. It does seem to be less fragile in this water. Elizabeth's came out like blue, 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 so. I'm a little jelly there, Elizabeth. Let's see. I'm going to put that in there. There's only one sheet left. So let's leave this for a minute. I'll be back in a second. We'll see how that looks if we actually leave it. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I've waited five minutes. That's all I can stand. Ooh, you probably, again, can't see on camera, but it's definitely a pretty pale blue. It's not nearly as blue as Elizabeth's. So, I'm guessing that it probably was a combination of not enough um, food coloring and maybe too much water and maybe not letting it sit long enough, but it's getting some cool marbling on there if you can see it. I'm guessing now at this point you can see why I also use this ugly vinyl tablecloth on my countertop. Uh, the last thing I wanted to do before I go take this out to Excuse me, I'm washing my hands. I've got food coloring everywhere. I probably should have worn like a full body armor with food coloring. I'm a menace. Um, but the last thing I wanted to do before I get this dry um, is I wanted to try a little Heidi Shine on it. So I've got gold Heidi Swap Color Shine. Let's see if it'll spray. You know how that goes. But I always do like a little shimmer. Ooh. Pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So that's about it on throwing some stuff in the dye. Uh, really, any grab your junk mail, junk letters to try it out if you want to experiment. Just about anything will work, including fabric. So try your watercolors, try fabric dyes, any kind of coloring you have. Um, just experiment and see what you get. So I'm going to tip this around and see if we can maybe get some more color variations. I really, I really like having not a solid color for my, my dyeing. God, I hope you could see this. Again, she says. So that is, let's see what we can dye. And uh, as I said, I'll come back with another video when this is dry and we'll see what we got. Hey everybody, we're back. All of our papers that we dyed are dry and they are kind of nifty. So I thought I'd just come and show them to you. Here are the ones that we did with the acrylic ink. And they have a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not. But look how gorgeous. It's a lot uh, more distinct in real life. Oh, we got, we got the camera going nuts. Hold on. Maybe I'll leave it down there so the camera doesn't get mad. Anyway, so the pink is just beautiful. And I did have some, some transfer from the coffee. I did, the papers must have touched or something, but I don't mind that at all. And here's the one where we just did drops on the paper. And again, it's not nearly as bright. What the heck? Hold on, you guys. I'm going to see if I can check out why we keep going out of focus. While I'm still recording, that's kind of crazy. Anything could happen. Hold on.
Hold on. I'm still here. Are you still here? Uh, I'm just going to see if I can make it not out of focus. Let's see if that'll work better. No, it doesn't want to be that way. Hmm. Says it's not auto focusing. All right. Well, let me try this and we'll see if it'll stop being naughty. All right. Sorry about the delay. Here we go. Hopefully that will do it. So anyway, okay, so we're back. Oh, good. I think I fixed it. We're back to here's the drops that we just put right on. And I think you can see the shimmer on there. It's just beautiful in the way it veined out. Love how those came out. This one also got some coffee on it, but that's fine. Makes it interesting on both sides. This is a good one. Very nice. So those are our, our acrylic ink dyes. These are the ones we did with food coloring. So we have this business envelope. Nice and crunchy. I like how that came out. And then all of them are just a little different. Something was lying on here. Can you see that? While it was drying, so we got some some different colors. And it also has the Heidi shine on it. So, I don't know. Oh yeah, I think you can see that. Really shimmery on this side. Love that. This guy got folded up, but that's okay. And again, you can see we got some variations in the color. I, I personally like that a whole lot better than just flat one color. So I'm tickled pink, as they say, about how these came out. And I'm taking advantage of the hot weather to coffee dye some more. That one's a lot paler blue, but it does have this nice little stripey on the edge. I love that. And then here's one of the coffee dyed ones. And you can see we did get some of the bumps from that uh, tin foil cookie sheet. So this is where we just threw some more coffee grounds on top. Love it. These are the ones, that one was supposed to be with the coffee dyed ones. These are the ones where we just dipped them in water. Got some wrinkle. They've got some texture to them, and they're crinkly, but they're still just plain white. So those are kind of neat. This one, it looks like it got some food coloring on it. A little bit of a little bit of blue, but that's just fine. And I like these a lot. I know that some people don't care for the crinkly sound, but I like it. I go for it, and I don't iron my paper, FYI. So those are the white ones. And then here are the rest of the coffee dyed. This doily um, is a little sticky, too much coffee ground dumpage on it, so I'm just going to take this baby wipe and see if we can get some of that off. See, a little bit's coming off. I don't know, I might try running this one under the water and see what happens, because the Heidi shine is just gorgeous, but the coffee is kind of sticky, so we'll see what happens with that one. Then there's this guy, and I think this is stuck. We got a two for one. Let's see if I can pull those apart. Oh, yeah. So this one was stuck underneath. It's got a little less dyed, but I just love how it looks. Another one that I think, yep, Mickey Mouse gloves. I did not do a good job of peeling apart these doilies. There we go. Ooh, this one got almost no coloring on it, it looks like. So we've got one that's pretty much white, and then we've got a spotty one with some shimmer. And we've got this one. Love that. Love how that came out. Then our junk mail envelopes. It kind of blurred out the postage stamp. I love that. You know, it's just a, it, they franked it. And I like how that looks. Here's the other one. Sure can smell some coffee up in here. And then these are the one, the sheets that we just coffee dyed. Got some Heidi shine on there and some splotches where we dumped the grounds. And you can see the variations in color, even from sheet to sheet. Um, this one is pretty dark. This one's pretty light. This one's kind of in between with spots. I love how these all came out. I'm really pleased. So I hope you guys had a fun time. I hope you tried it. And that really is all there is for coffee dyeing. Easy peasy. And it's a pretty neat result. If you don't have instant coffee, by all means, take your cup of coffee that you didn't finish this morning and use that, whatever you got. This one has some funny markings too where they were stacked up together. This one got a little tear, but that's fine. Oh, this one, uh, there was a sheet laying here and this part was on that um, uh, veggie rack. 
And so it's got all kinds of stuff going on. I like it. And this is the last one. And this one really picked up the, the veggie rack. So that is what we did with our dyeing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, as I said. Um, the next part of the gar uh, grocery bag junk journal is going to be folding up some of our papers and seeing what we've got in terms of a signature to go inside that bad boy. So thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got anything out of this video or had fun, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and the nice old man will link Never Hopeless by Elizabeth, and we'll also list all the places you can find us on the internet. Thanks so much, you guys, and have a great day. Bye.